What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Panky Wizard here with episode number 26 of our Pokemon Shield Let's Play. I'm um, getting pretty, pretty deep in there. Um, as you can tell, we are in the locker room. I mean, we were about to face down Leon. Um, last week's episode, well, not last week's episode, but last episode, um, was pretty, pretty long. Um, be honest, it was pretty long. Um, and um, I kind of wanted to, uh, I wanted to have all of it in. Um, you see, everyone's gone. It's just me left waiting for the final battle. Uh, I don't know what Leon starts with. But we'll leave we'll with Anna, because Anna's got a pretty pretty good move set. Um, and we'll see what's going on, what's popping. Thank you guys so much for checking this out. If you are, um, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I've been enjoying this playthrough, um, and I'm really excited to finish it with you guys. Um, we're getting really close to the end now. Ooh. The tents still air on the pitch, and the exact opposite from the audience, cheering and yelling. They're both fantastic, wouldn't you say? But remember, the audience is also a bit cruel. They want nothing more than to see one of us lose, after all. I can, <laughs> it can fill you with fear knowing that, but I absolutely love pushing past the fear. I love giving it everything I've got as a trainer, and seeing my team give everything they've got to seize another victory. It's the greatest feeling in the world and I can't get enough of it. I can feel my partners itching with anticipation inside their Pokeballs. We're going to have a real champion time. I'm the Galar Regents champion, Leon. Me and Charizard and all the rest of our team will use our knowledge and experience to crush you completely. Wait, hold on. Hey, look at the monitor. What is it on the big screen? Nothing. There's nothing on the big screen. Oh, no. Hello there, Leon and Tanner. Just letting you know. I think it's time I brought about the darkest day for the sake of Galar's future, of course. But I'm in a bit of a pickle. The energy released by the darkest day is too much for us to contain. I'm sorry that it's come to this, but it's but it's you who forced my hand, Leon. You refuse to listen. Okay, so I thought we'd be doing a champion battle. I completely forgot that this was right now. I thought it was afterwards. Lee, Dana. That video stream, that was from Hammerlock Stadium, right? What in the world did the chairman do? I don't know. But everything he was saying yesterday, did he really pull this crazy stunt to solve some problem a thousand years in the future? I've got to go see what's going on. I'm the champion. I have to go. I should have realized that the chairman intended to do it before it came to this. I'll take responsibility now for fixing this mess. This is the real champion time. But Lee, you're terrible at directions. What if you get lost along the way? I want to help my brother, Tanner. I've got to, but I can't even imagine to- I can't even manage to beat you. So what sort of help will I ever be? Just try. But what? What can I even do? Hold the phone. The chairman was talking about the darkest day. That's the thing where the sky went all dark uh, once, ages and ages ago, right? What does that- what does he even mean? He's br he's bringing that about. <laughs> and where did we even hear that name? Back in Motorstoke. Statue of the Hero in Motorstoke. Tony said something back then, didn't she? Though it turned out to be wrong, since there were actually two heroes and all that. Still, so oh, I can't speak. Still, those two managed to bring an end to the darkest day with this sword and shield Pokemon. Sonya thought the Pokemon might still be sleeping somewhere, though, right? You should try and find them, Tanner. But where to start looking? Slumbering the slumbering world. That's it, Tanner. I'm sure it's got to be the slumbering world. That illusion you tried to fight off that day. It must have been one of the Pokemon that are supposed to be sleeping there. Let's go back to the slumbering world. If we're lucky, we'll find something that can help. Hmm. Interesting. 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 Interest. Oh, wow. And Professor Sonia, she's here. Huh? Town and Hop. Ah, oh, I completely forgot about the championship match. What are you two doing here? Haven't you been watching the news at all? 
The Pokemon is off, Sonia. Tom is off. The chairman saw to that, and they're sending the entire region into a state of havoc. Huh? What? What happened while I was researching things in the slumbering world? Well, for starters, there was... Well, for starters, there was a great black storm or something raging over Hammerlock Stadium. What are they calling it? The darkest day? It's turned everything into disarray. Still, I'm not sure we don't need to worry too much. The unbeatable champion will be able to take care of everything, won't he? Hold on a tick, ma'am. Did you say the darkest day? The darkest day is the name for the black storm that nearly brought the Galar region in... It's the black storm that nearly brought the Galar region to ruin in ancient times. So, what are you here for, Tanner? Search for the shield Pokemon. I suppose if the legends are true, then the sword and shield Pokemon should be able to prevent the darkest day from coming to pass. That may be just what we need to beat back the black storm. Okay, here, take this. You should head to the slumbering world. I'll chat up with you once I'm done looking into something that's been bothering me. Three max revives! Oh my goodness gracious. So, oh, I guess we're gonna head deeper into the slumbering world. All that matters is that you do what you can. You become a fine Pokemon trainer after all. I'm about to beat the champion, Mom. You just support me more. Are you ready for this, Tanner? Oh, my favorite music. I wonder if we're about to head straight into the wall of fog again. Not that I'd bother us now, but we've both grown load strong and so have our Pokemon. Going into the forest after the Wooloo that day. That was the start of everything, wasn't it? A legendary beginning, really. I reckon whatever we're about to see will be pretty legendary itself. Let's head in and add another page to our tale. I like that he's like including us now. It's not just about him. Which I mean, it really never should have been to begin with, considering um he was the one who wanted us to like train with him and stuff. I'm kinda hoping we don't have to fight any wild Pokemon. I love the music here too. Everything about this like little area is just so nice. I know there's a TM, TM's over here and and some stuff. There's an Ore Beetle, which is a cool Pokemon. I want to, I mean, like, I don't want to, like, rush through here either. Oh, you can make it through. Okay, um, Mental Herb. Oh, crap, okay. Um, what's up this way? Anything? There's an elixir. Phantom Force. Interesting. Don't particularly want to teach anyone Phantom Force. Um, I don't even think that our actual ghost type Pokemon can learn Phantom Force. Wait, there's an item. That's a stun fisk, I think. Smoke ball, what does that do? Oh, so it's just basically it's like a pokey doll. Let's hop right there. What's with this fog? It's even worse than the first time we came here. No, but it's not. It's definitely not worse than the first time we came here, Hop. Now it's getting worse. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, there's there they both are! Grilled Lord They really are here. The sword and the shield Pokemon, I knew it. Okay. And they're gone. Cool. <laughs> hey, where are you going? We need your help over here. You do. What in the world are you doing? What well, come on come off it, Sonya. You must have seen that, right? Those, those sword and shield Pokemon, they were right in front of us, but then they disappeared into the forest. Pop, are you sure you haven't lost the plot? There was no one here but the two of you. What? What were those illusions or something? Listen, I dug into some literature from other regions and I finally found something. Mention of the sword Pokemon Zacian and the so shield Pokemon Zomazenta. The writing said that those two Pokemon were born somewhere beyond the slumbering world somewhere long, long ago. Did they really? J to Sonya, thanks for digging into it. Even if it's just an illusion or whatever, we did manage to find the Pokemon again. Maybe the sword and the shield that those that those two used to carry are still here too. Okay, let's follow Hop. My father is home. 
That is cool. Oh, I, I love this place is gorgeous. Reminds me of Zelda, honestly. Just take a look at that, Tana. Now that's something you don't see every day. This place definitely feels like stuff of legend. Yeah, it's like the middle of um, Kakariko Forest. Where like the mist clears. That's all that's like totally what I think of. See that, Tanner? The sword and the shield. The legends really were true. Okay, so we can can we pick it up? Oh, okay. I see how I see how they did it. That settles it. I'm taking the sword. Though, wow, would you look at that state of this thing? Seems like it might fall to pieces if you so much as look at it. Funny. I don't know if these rusty old things will really be able to stop the dark state, but well, I guess it can't hurt to have them. Along. Let's hope they bring us some good luck. Maybe the Pokemon themselves really are still asleep somewhere. So it seems we're on our own if we want to go help Lee. This is all the help we've got. Wow, interesting. Can I fly out of here? Cannot fly out of here. Maybe because people don't want to come here. It's okay. I don't mind listening to music running out. Can Sonia teleport me out? Well, Sonia's not here anymore, so probably not. <laughs> I don't know how much we're gonna like this. We're gonna get done in one day. Um. <gasps> mm, definitely didn't want to run into Muna. Definitely did not want to run into the Muna. Oh, hello, Corvite. You are massive. I wish Pokemon followed you in this game. It would change everything. I'd have my sh I would have my shiny Aegislash out constantly. I would never play with anything else. I would never- nothing else would follow me. Except maybe like a starter. I wish I could just fly out of here. I mean, it's really not, a, not like it's a big forest or anything. Um, now we can fly. Hammerlock, Hammerlock, Hammerlock. Yes, I would like to go to Hammerlock. And I actually think... I think the only battle we have to do is against Chairman Rose. Alright, Raihan. Come on, Raihan. Speak to me. Hop, you are not with me. Well, if it isn't Tanner and Hop... It's a real shame the way things have turned out. You make it all the way to the championship match and something like this has to happen. And Chairman Rose thinking that the energy pouring from the darkest day would somehow be the key to saving Galar's future. It all seems a bit mad if you ask me. I can't follow it at all how it's supposed to work. Well if I don't care if I'm up against the darkest day or the chairman or whatever, I'm going ahead I'm off to help my brother. And he's gone. That hop never changes. Always in a rush about something, isn't he? The key thing here is that no one's been harmed. We gym leaders work together with the city's Pokemon and we've got everyone evacuated. And you, you're fixing to help our champion to save everyone in the Galar region. Of course. Our greatest ever champion and the greatest ever challenger along with his fiercest rival. All teaming up against the darkest day. <coughs> oh god, I almost feel sorry for that. Go on then, our great challenger, into Hammerlock Stadium with you. 
go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Do I have to fight Elena? I don't want to fight Elena again. At all, actually. J Gym Challenger, you must help me. I, I mean, please help me. My Pokemon suddenly Dynamax for some reason and started running amok in the stadium. Raihan, I mean, Mr. Raihan was able to subdue the Dynamax Pokemon in the stadium, but... If other Pokemon also Dynamax and go on a rampage, the underground power plant would collapse. Mr. Rose is down there right now. I know this is selfish of me, but I must beg your assistance. I want you to head into the underground power plant and stop Mr. Rose. Mr. Rose has awakened a powerful Pokemon known as Eternatus. Apparently, the energy emitted from its body is what's causing Dynamaxing. And go berserk. If it were to happen, please, you must save Mr. Rose. You can take the lift over there to reach him. I've enlisted the help of the champion's younger brother too, but who knows what's going on. Okay. Oh, it's not broken. I thought it was broken. Okay, before I do anything, I'm gonna go... I'll be, I'll be right back. <coughs> okay, let's go. I don't know if we have to fight anyone but Chairman Rose. There's Hop right here. And the... And an egg. Hop? What, what's all this? We need help Lee. Why was he not there before? I'm gonna wipe the floor with you, Chairman Rose. You you ruined my championship match, you piece of crap. And what do you plan on doing, Gym Challenger? Stopping you? Uh, pardon. What are you talking about? There's nothing to stop now. We've already brought about the darkest day, or should I say, the ultimate Pokemon, Eternatus. Must I explain myself? From your perspective, I suppose it must seem that I'm doing something terrible. I don't expect you to understand, but I must provide the Galar region with limitless energy to ensure the everlasting prosperity. It is my purpose, the duty, my destiny. That is why we've been giving the wishing stars to Eternatus. Surely you remember the red light that caused a ruckus around Hammerlock that was all part of our experiments to awaken Eternatus. You must understand, I can't let you interfere with my plan to protect the future of Galar. And this is like, quote unquote, the 8th gym leader. Macrocosmos Rose. Interesting. That's a pretty crappy bug you want to start with. Especially against my starter Pokemon? Hmm. Pyro a Pyro Ball to an Escavalier is... Yeah, you're gonna go down, son. I'm sorry. That was fun and all, but maybe next time. You're pretty tough, yes. Entirely too tough. Don't you think that's unfair? No, not really. I just want to wipe the floor with you so I can do the Eternatus battle. I'm, I'm probably gonna use all my- I probably shouldn't use all my power balls actually. I think a flame charge will do at least a lot of damage against you. I like this theme. Oh, I thought that raised your speed. Does it? It does actually. Come on. You're probably gonna take yourself out. Never mind. Kling Kling is gone. Kling Kling is gone. Gosh, you could probably wipe the floor with all these guys, honestly. If I didn't want to waste my- I, I feel like I probably get healed up. Okay, so Ferrothorn. I'll pay you after this match if you if you if you sweep his whole team, Kashi without going down, I will pay you after this match is over. I mean, none of his Pokemon are going to outspeed me, there's no way. Just, I just, I call bluffs. What other, I know you have, I know your last Pokemon's Copperaja. Berserker, okay, cool. I will Pyro Ball Berserker here.
Oh no, there's no way you're outspeeding me because I'm like plus four right now. I will, I will, at the end of this series, I will go to the camp and I will play with Kakashi if he sweeps his whole team without, without going down. I pinky promise. Uh-oh, down to my last Pokemon. Hmm, this isn't looking too good. Dynamax, Max Flare, you. And honestly, I should, I should have this one in the bag. I don't know, this, either this or the Alistair battle and the final is the easiest battle in the whole game currently for me. I didn't even give any Dynamax candy to anybody. I'll show you a move that'll hit so hard you'll be speechless. I wish he had a turn this like on his team. I really would have dug that actually. Oh, 57. You're pretty high level. What level is. What level is Kakashi? Oh, never mind. Doesn't matter. You're gone. <laughs> Can I still see your level, Kakashi? I'm curious. Probably not. Actually, now I think about it. Oh, you're 58. Okay. How is Anna only level 54? That was easy. I've forgotten how great Pokemon battles are. It's been so long since I battled. That sure was satisfying. Except you, uh... Most impressive, Tanner. I wouldn't expect any less from a challenger endorsed by the strongest champion ever to grace our beloved Galar region. I really do wish I could have seen the championship match between you two, and I'm terribly sorry to have ruined the whole gym challenge and everything. It's too bad, but it can't be helped. In order to solve the energy issue as soon as possible, we awaken Eternatus, but we couldn't control it. The champion came to aid me, even at the cost of abandoning the match. Indeed, just like a knight in shining armor coming to rescue a princess from a dragon. I tend to do- I tend to ramble on, I know, I love to make speeches, but... I think I can stop talking now. I think the champion should have captured the Eternatus by now. If you're curious, you can take the lift up. And I trust you'll be going to right hop. I certainly would- I certainly hope losing to me didn't discourage you too much. Go on now, both of you. Go see how our champion is doing. Discouraged. You don't get it, do you, Chairman? Cha Neither me nor my Pokemon are anywhere near giving up. We've learned how how to be strong thanks to the gym challenge you organized. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um, I don't have anything with Dragon. I use Poison Dragon. Let's actually let's play with Slash because Slash got Slash got dig. Alright, Tenna. I'm ready for anything, are you? Of course. I don't expect anything that's from my rival now. Come on, we've got to help Lee. Oh. Oh, what? What? Weird. Eternus has such a cool design, but... It doesn't feel like a Pokemon to me. You came to help me in spite of the danger. Thanks, Hop, and you, Tanner. You two really have grown tremendously. But no need for you kids to worry. It seems like some power of Eternatus was keeping my team from Dynamaxing, but we've had a champi champion time all the same. Charizard and the rest of my champion team members have really worn Eternatus down. Now, if I can simply catch it in a Pokeball, we should be able to get this madness under control. Then everything will be back to normal. So watch this. It's going to be a real champion catch. I definitely don't believe you because you're using a Pokeball. I mean, they make so many different balls. Why Why in the world would you use a Pokeball? So when a Pokemon breaks out, is that like actually what it looks like? Or like 
quote unquote what it's supposed to look like. I turn this up here. I do know from fighting him before that you can't catch him here. Um, I mean he's only level 60. Oh, I have Ice Punch on you too. You're fast! Okay, it's not a two shot. We're good. Maybe. We're kind of hoping that Slash... Uh, um, okay, let's Ice Punch you. Can you live across poison? I mean, you are, I guess you are more physically defensive. Oh man, I was just expecting this to do so much more. I can, okay wait, can you live a Dragon Pulse? I don't think you can live a Dragon Pulse. I don't, I don't, I, I don't. I was right. So I was very right. Dang. Okay, well let's throw, let's throw Anna in. Um, cause Anna's got the Ice Fang. I can get some chip with Anna. And then, since I'm faster, I can get flinches too. Dyna- you- you're gonna hit Anna with a Dynamax Cannon. Her face! Her face! <laughs> okay, um... I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna use Benji. Um... Cause I know Benji's fast. Um, I guess I'll do play rough, just because it'll be neutral. Mm, so not enough. You're gonna use Dynamax Cannon on another one of my Pokemon. This is just upsetting. Sorry, Bendy. You live. This is why Benji was here. This Benji was here the whole time just for that. Turnus is like exploding right now. Legitimately exploding, actually. So I heard this is why you can't Gigantamax or Dynamax um, Eternatus, is because it like breaks the game if you do it anywhere but here. This is like the scripted event. So my team isn't healed. At least it shouldn't be. Which is which is definitely a problem. Or are they healed? Because Slash got demolished. Well it's huge, let's take on it together. Let's take it on together, Tenna. Oh wait, okay, so my all my Pokemon how are all my Pokemon healed? Okay, well, I guess I'll just Ice Punch it. Oh, I can't attack it. Well, we can't use it on any moves! Okay, uh, try again. Still can't use any moves. I forgot, we found the Sword and Shield of the Slumbering Weld. Okay. What about them, Hop? Are we gonna use them for something? I still can't use any moves. Tana, use the shield! It might be old and rusted, but it's gotta be some use to it. I've got it. I've got it. Ooh, an actual cutscene. <clears throat> oh, this is totally some Zelda stuff right here. Wow. Okay, so they're revived. What is it, instant transmission? <laughs> they felt our they felt our power level and they zipped right over because they were like they need help. They're not strong enough for this. Oh shoot! Oh, 
I wish there was more of this in the game. This is a this is a cutscene and a half. Uh, sword and shield. Okay. 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 To be fair, Zacian is the better dog. But it's okay. Because I think we can attack it now? I love that they're like basically introducing you to like max max raid battles. Like, it's cool. I, I like that they used the gimmick, one of the gimmicks of the game, for like this battle. Zacian, that was very nice of you. Pop, why are you still using double? They re they're really setting this up so we can't lose. Oh. Well, I thought that light screen I was gone. That did absolutely nothing. Okay, yeah, I know. I realize that, Hop. Can you attack, please? Because we don't do anything to return this. <laughs> Behemoth. Oh, this move is awesome. It's going to do so much damage, too, I bet. It does enough. <laughs> it does enough to make me happy. That's all that matters. Behemoth Bash. This is such like a cheatsy way to win, but honestly, there, I don't think there's any way I would win if not for this. I'm not sure if they can actually go down in this fight. I'm not positive. There's like absolutely nothing we can do. I'm just gonna keep spamming this till we win, cause I don't know what else to do. I'm hoping these start to do more damage, cause now it's just like a playing a time game. Okay, maybe I lied about thinking this is really fun. If I had a, I guess I don't know. I want to say a stronger Pokemon, cause I mean Slash is pretty strong. It's got a decent attack stat. I feel like you're about to take out Slash. Oh. That's okay. I can take 15 health. Oh, our attack is falling. That would make sense. That's why I'm doing less and less damage. We should... This should be the last... turn anyways. Behemoth Blade and Behemoth Smash. Or Behemoth Bash. Um, should take him out. We should be able to catch him. Oh. Okay, maybe I lied. I definitely, I definitely, I definitely lied. I also didn't think we'd be here for 40 minutes again. But this episode would be over faster. Can I crit? Oh, thank you for putting. Can you attack double? Thank you! My goodness gracious. So you took me from plus two, and you put me, you, I mean minus two, and you put me back to minus one. Now it's over. My goodness gracious. Why would you use how? I guess it would make sense if you used all the other ones, all the other moves. Oh, 
Oh, Zombazet is gone. Oh, they can faint. Hmm, good to know. Yes! <laughs> and he got the final hit off, which is awesome. Okay, that, that was longer than I had anticipated spending on uh, trying to catch one legendary dog. Let's just use an Ultra Ball. I, I feel like this is a 100% catch rate, if I'm being honest. Because you can only try and catch a Dynamax Pokemon once. Just pulled the whole thing in. Oh, that is one heavy Pokeball. This is like this is part of a cutscene, so I could throw any Pokeball at this thing and probably catch it. And to be fair, I just like the way that the Ultra Ball looks. We got it! Ooh, ooh, yay, the legendary of the game! The legendary that has like no backstory. And Zamazenta, who just fainted in Zacian, and Zacian. Jump away! Like, they literally just like Hulk jumped away. <laughs> That was cool, I guess. So what now? I don't want this episode to go much longer than this, so... Back in Winden. Three days later. I just- I- we just slept for three days straight. So Chairman Rose turned himself in then. Never thought I'd live to see the day. He woke Eternatus and nearly caused a catastrophe for the entire region. You reap what you sow, I say. <laughs> Are you ready to see me fight your brother, Hop? I don't know I don't know about you, but I slept like the dead. I don't know about you, but I slept like the dead. Everyone's still talking about what happened, but at least things are back to normal now. We really did defeat Eternalus together with Zomazenta and Zacian. And still Lee's, well, he's being Lee, insisting on having a championship match with you today. It's a bit much, isn't it? You sure you're, you're sure you up for it? I'm not even too sure about him. He was out cold and hurt pretty badly during himself during all that mess. Oh, I don't want to stop it. I do understand how he feels, though. Feels like I've been waiting forever to get to see you and him face off in a serious match. So come on, the match will be in Wyndham Stadium. Where else? Alright, that's going to be the end of the episode. Thank you guys so much for checking out today's episode. We finally have the championship match with Lee, which will be the will mark the end of the main game um, for Pokemon Shields. Thank you guys very much for checking this out. If you are here, um, I appreciate you a lot. Um, and I'll hope to see you back for the next episode to see how the main game ends and to see that we will wipe the floor with Hop's big brother Leon once and for all and become the champion of the Galar region so thank you guys very much for checking this episode out make sure you click the links below hit the like button if you're excited and you want to talk to me about it and i guess i'll catch you later